Hi, I'm Gregory Hayes with Make. Our latest weekend project introduces you to Crystal Radio Technology, a fun and simple project that's enjoyed by many amateur radio enthusiasts. This project uses no external power source and instead operates only on the power of radio waves. When you're done, you'll be able to hear nearby radio transmissions clearly. So follow along as we build this batteryless radio receiver. And since it's built using a bottle, we call it Bottle Radio. Here's Tyler to walk you through the build. The Bottle Radio can be thought of as a radio receiver reduced to its core components. Using an antenna and ground, along with a tuning coil and detector, we'll be able to explore the airwaves all around us. The crystal in our crystal radio is contained inside a germanium diode, which rectifies the radio wave and converts it to audio signal, which we can then hear with the aid of a sensitive earphone called a crystal earphone. Germanium diodes have a low forward voltage rating compared with other diode types, making them ideal for low amp crystal radios. Magnet wire will provide us with our tuning coil, receiving audio signals from the AM, or amplitude modulation, spectrum of the airwaves. When signal enters the diode, its envelope contains positive and negative peaks. The diode, only allowing voltage to pass in one direction, blocks the negative peaks of the signal and lets the positive peaks of the signal proceed. Thus, the diode rectifies the signal from an alternating current to a direct current. This current vibrates the diaphragm inside the crystal earphone, which the sensitive human ear translates to audio. Thus, with no battery or amplification, you are able to hear the radio. You'll need the following parts for this build. You will also need Now let's get started. First, we need to wind our wire around our bottle, which will provide us with our tuning coil. For this, we'll be using 30 gauge magnet wire, the red spool. Remember, in American wire gauge standard, the higher the gauge number, the thinner the wire. 30 gauge wire is 0.01 inches in diameter. This spool contains 200 feet of solid enamel coated wire. And yes, we will be using all of it. While your instinct will be to wind the coil hand over bottle, this will introduce some unnecessary twist in the wire. A better way to wind the coil is to put the spool on a spindle and then rotate the bottle to wind the coil. First, give yourself about six inches of lead wire. Starting at the bottom of the bottle, just above the lip, place a piece of clear tape to hold your wire in place. Now begin spinning the bottle and winding the coil. After a few turns, it'll hold itself in place easier, but keep an extra piece of tape handy should you need to pause or take a break. This step will take some time. Patience, young Padawan. Be sure not to let the wire cross over itself while winding and tighten up any gaps in the coil along the way. Put a small piece of tape near the end of the coil, leaving yourself about eight to 10 inches of wire for later use. When done, you'll have a beautifully wound bottle. While optional, it's recommended you give your bottle a quick application of clear lacquer, which will hold the coil together during our next step. Next, take a piece of 150 grit sandpaper and sand a vertical line into the coil. Then, gently sand about one inch of enamel away from your two lead wires, exposing the wire. Now let's build our radio base. Gather up some scrap wood pieces and assemble your base like so. Then, counterclockwise from the bottom left, mark the following locations, A, B, C, D, and E. Next to these, drive in a screw and a washer. Finishing washers work best, leaving a slight gap between the washer and the wood to slip wires and component leads underneath. Place the coiled bottle in its cubby. Leave the wire leads loose for the time being, we'll come back to them. Take an approximate 10 inch length of hookup wire and strip off insulation from both ends. Connect one end of this wire to your number eight insulated terminal ring. Bend one end of your coat hanger wire or other stiff wire, making a small loop. Position your hanger wire so that when horizontally level, it lines up approximately with the middle of the sanded away vertical line on the bottle's coil. Make a mark through the wire's loop where you want another screw to go. Now, 
Thread a screw through your number 8 terminal ring. Place your coat hanger wires loop beneath the screw and the ring and anchor all of this down like so. Make the screw loose enough so you can still adjust the wiper, while tight enough so that it stays put when you let go of it. Wrap the end of your wiper with electrical tape. This will allow you to move the wiper without causing interference. Connect the other end of the wiper's wire to E. Connect the NTE-109 germanium diode between D and E. Make sure this diode's black or silver band, the diode's cathode, is facing D. Connect the 47 kilo ohm resistor between C and D. Also connect the two wires from your crystal earphone to C and D. Now place a piece of wire with the end stripped between B and C. Connect the lower wire lead from your bottle's coil to B and connect the upper wire lead from your bottle's coil to A. Take the 150 picofarad ceramic disc capacitor, wind it around a short piece of wire with the lead stripped like so, and connect this wire hack between either A and B or between A and the wiper. We decided on A and the wiper for our build. We're almost there. Two more connections, and these are crucial for any radio to work properly. We need an antenna and a ground. Using the 24 gauge speaker wire, connect one end to A. Run the wire as high into the air as you can, to your roof if possible or necessary. Then take another piece of wire, we'll use this green spool of hookup wire to make a connection between B and a copper spike nested in the earth, or to a cold water pipe in your house or building. This will provide your radio with its grounded connection. Alternatively, you can simply press B with your finger, your body providing the ground. Lastly, fasten all your screws and washers down, making sure all of your connections are in place and pinched by the washers. You should now, with no discernible power source, be able to tune in to AM stations within a range of about 25 miles. Adjust the wiper up and down the tuning coil to hear the radio. Uh, drones that are if you want others to enjoy your project or simply don't want to wear the crystal earphone all the time, you can swap out the earphone for this battery powered 9 volt mini amplifier. Simply strip one end of the 3.5 millimeter cable and connect the wires to C and D. Take your radio around town and see how the airwaves change based on location. Head towards a known nearby AM transmission tower or municipal airport and see how strong the signal becomes. And most importantly, have fun.